Hello Communications High School, I'm Izzy. And I'm Kate. And welcome to the first episode of Inc. TV for the 2016-2017 school year. During this episode, we will recap all of the back-to-school festivities of September. On Wednesday, September 7th, CHS welcomed students back for their first day of school. The Cultural Communications Club welcomed incoming freshmen with treats as the rest of the school gathered in the cafeteria before starting first period. Let's go to Felicia with more details on the first day. At this year's Back to School Assembly, new and returning students gathered in the cafeteria to be greeted by SGA Vice President Julia Party and President Mark Pisvino, who welcomed everyone back to CHS and gave each grade individualized words of wisdom for the upcoming school. Mr. Gleason addressed the student body and spoke about the importance of respect and encouragement amongst the student body. He also welcomed Ms. Katia Barone, a Monmouth University student who will be interning in the guidance department under Mrs. Caruso. At the end of the assembly, students and teachers were invited outside to enjoy Italian ice provided by the SGA. For Ink TV, I'm Felicia. Now back to Izzy and Kate in the studio. Thank you, Felicia. Our man on the street, Shannon Damiano, toured CHS, asking freshmen their first impressions of CHS and seniors for their favorite memories over the past four years. Let's take it to Shannon for the breakdown. Hey CHS, I'm Shannon, and I went into the halls to find out freshmen's first impressions and seniors' fondest memories. I was a little bit nervous when I came here, to be honest, because it was completely new, and I came from a really, really, really small school, even for coming here. But my first thought after like the first day was, I just don't want to leave. It was fantastic. Um, it's a very accepting school. Like you can be, what you can do whatever you want. Everybody's really fine with it, and there are a lot of people who you can be friends with. That it's a good school, and everyone's really welcoming. It's better than my high school. No, not everyone was welcoming. Believe me, I'm not very welcoming. Um, Everyone like seems really happy and like friends with each other. That's really cool. And it's a really cool environment. Uh, I think Whole Foods would be my favorite uh, memory when I was in advanced journalism. My class took a trip to Whole Foods. It was really fun, really delicious. So yeah. Like going outside for lunch, and playing fan jam and frisbee on it, and going outside for lunch to eat. It's really chill and. You don't really have that in normal part of We all decided to go to uh, one big party together. And it was just fun. You got to make friends, and we all just... It was no, like, pressure. We were all kind of worried about O'Keefe, but <laughs> we got through it together, which was really nice. Now back to Izzy and Kate in the studio. I remember my first day of freshman year. Do you, Kate? Of course. I was so nervous, but now I miss freshman year. Even Thompson Park. The annual Freshman Thompson Park Day took place on Thursday, September 8th with SGA members, class presidents, and several teachers on the trip. Jackie Geller has the inside scoop. Unlike the class of 2019, the freshmen were able to attend Thompson Park on behalf of the cooperative weather. The class of 2020 was split into groups on the morning of the trip and played games like Mojave Desert and Seal the Bacon. Later, they had lunch for about 45 minutes and got into new groups for more activities. The day ended with the Thompson Park Classic, Wham Slam Sam. Now to freshman Sawyer Barth for his opinion on the trip. Um, it's definitely a very important trip in my opinion because um, it's one of the more early on bonding stages like uh, with like the, the kids who you're going to be with for another four years of your life. Um, I definitely met a lot of people who, I mean, I, I, it's only a week later I know, but uh, I'm still like hanging out with every day. I, I met for Inc. TV, I'm Jackie. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Jackie. As students get settled into the school year, they are encouraged to get involved and join clubs. The annual club fair was held during lunch on Thursday, September 15th. Audrey Mannion has the info on this year's event. Yeah. Yeah. Organized by Skills USA, numerous CHS clubs set up tables during lunch to encourage students, new and old alike, to join. Clubs included the Inkblot, Christian Club, Cultural Communications Club, and Skills USA, to name a few. Skills USA Vice President Junior Emma Walenta of Wall described how she prepared for the club fair. So for skills, we just got a bunch of food donations and we put out all of our banners and our posters and our pictures for people to see. The club fair gave students, especially freshmen, a preview of what each club is like and a chance to sign up for the ones they are interested in. Numerous clubs also handed out snacks such as cookies, brownies, Oreo balls, and even Spanish tapas. Meeting times for each club will be sent out in a series of emails in the days to come. For Ink TV, I'm Audrey. Now back to Izzy and Kate in the studio. Thanks, Audrey. I know I definitely signed up for more clubs after the club fair. On Friday, September 16th, the PSFA held a bonfire at 2nd Ave on Belmar Beach. SGA Vice President Julia Pardee said the bonfire was started in 2012 and has been a tradition ever since. Bridget Garrett attended the event this year and has more information. 
The bonfire took place Friday, September 16th on Belmar Beach, 2nd Ave. The event was organized by the PSFA, who has hosted it annually since 2012. A big fire pit was set up where students and their families made s'mores with donated supplies. The bonfire was a good place for freshmen to bond, upperclassmen to catch up after a summer break, and CHS families to relax together. Water was available for students to refresh themselves after playing instruments, roasting marshmallows, or dancing along to music. For the adults, apple cider and donut holes were provided. Signing off for ATV, this is Bridget Garrett. And finally, the class of 2017 held their senior field trip to New York City on Wednesday, September 21st. Due to the terrorist attacks that occurred in Seaside Heights and Chelsea this weekend, Principal Gleason promptly called a meeting with the class of 2017 council on Monday, September 19th. Council member Ali Quo said Principal Gleason wanted the council to be aware that the trip could be canceled for security reasons. Still, the trip went off without a hitch. Let's go to Kyle for more. Thank you, Izzy. The class of 2017 left Wednesday morning for New York City, first making a stop in Times Square. January included a trip to Madame Tussauds Wax Museum for about an hour and a half, said Council Member Ali Quo. Entrance to the museum was delayed upon arrival due to a police investigation, yet students managed to make it inside as expected. The class of 2017 then continued to lunch at the Hard Rock Cafe before heading to Something Rotten on Broadway. Here's senior Jillian Ferriola of Colts Neck with her thoughts on the trip. The Wax Museum was interesting. They were very really, like lifelike, and uh, the show was really fun. It was funny. So. According to Quo, the trip went very smoothly. For Ink TV, I'm Kyle. Now back to Kate and Izzy in the studio. That's all for the September show of Ink TV. I'm Kate. And signing off, I'm Izzy. Tune in next month to see what October has in store for CHS. Thanks for watching.